Welcome back to Build Tech, where we dive deep into the heart of farming and all things agriculture. Today, we're taking you on an exciting journey to explore the intricate world of sheep farming and wool processing. Before we start exploring the wool journey, thank you for 1,000 subscribers. Each one of you fuels us to keep creating content like this. If you want to stay updated on all our agricultural adventures, remember to hit that subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Let's begin. The history of wool goes way back. People started raising sheep for food and clothing about 10,000 years ago, and around 4,000 BC, they began spinning the wool into yarn for weaving fabric. The Romans brought wool production to England in 50 AD, and woolen fabrics became the country's chief export for centuries. In 1797, Britain shipped 13 sheep to Australia, marking the start of the largest wool industry in the world today. Wool fabric is known for its durability, wrinkle-proof nature, shape holding abilities, moisture absorption, and insulation against heat and cold. These qualities make wool ideal for clothing like sweaters and coats. Australia, a wool juggernaut, boasts an impressive flock of 70 million sheep producing a staggering 300 million kilograms of wool annually. This woolly empire has been at the forefront of the global wool industry for over two centuries, adapting seamlessly to the diverse Australian climate, from the arid outback to the lush pastures along the east coast. Sheep shearers use power shears to move the fleece in one piece, discarding any stained or inferior wool. The remaining wool is sorted based on fiber quality, considering length, color, waviness, and fineness. The wool is then cleaned with detergents before processing. In the intricate process of shearing, a highly skilled workforce equipped with electric shears performs a delicate dance with the sheep. This annual affair, usually unfolding in spring or early summer, is an essential art form. Imagine the precision required to shear up to 200 sheep daily, with each professional shearer wielding electric shears akin to giant clippers. Sheep, being the versatile bunch they are, get sheared in all seasons, adapting to the climate, management needs, and the availability of wool classes and shearers. Use the leading ladies of the flock, often get their trim before lambing in warmer months. But hold on. Consideration for the little lambs means no shearing during chilly winters. Pre-lamb shearing guides used to shelter in high country regions. Ensuring newborn lambs aren't left out in the cold. Imagine a sheep with a cover comb, like a stylish accessory. These stud combs leave more wool on the sheep during colder months, offering extra insulation. It's like giving them a cozy sweater for the winter. Large flocks, meticulously mustered and checked for pesky parasites, undergo this annual transformation. The shearing teams, consisting of shearers, shed hands, and a cook in the more remote areas, swing into action, working eight-hour days, often in the rejuvenating spring breeze. Regulated by industry awards, the shearing day unfolds in four runs of two hours each, punctuated by smoko and a midday lunch break. The shearer's pay is often linked to the number of sheep they shear, creating a breed known as gun shears, for those tallying over 200 sheep daily. Now, picture a sheep caught by the shearer elegantly placed on the shearing board. With a mechanical handpiece, the shearing begins, following a set of efficient movements like the Bowen technique or the tally-high method. Shears, donned in moccasins for foot comfort and grip, swiftly move through the belly wool and the main fleece showcasing their prowess. A gun shearer can complete this in two to three minutes, or even less in elite competitive shearing. Here's a twist. The CSIRO in Australia introduced a non-mechanical shearing method. An injected protein creates a natural break in wool fibers, allowing easy removal by hand after a week. Once the fleece is off, the wool table comes into play. The fleece is thrown, clean side down, onto the table. A team of wool rollers steps into a skirt and cleans the fleece, removing unwanted bits like sweat fibs. This process, known as wool classing, is a meticulous examination of the fleece's quality, ensuring it's ready for the final press. In some sheep, like those in Shetland, nature takes the lead in spring. The fleece naturally peels away, allowing for plucking by hand without cutting, a process known as rooting. 
The drama unfolds post-shearing with the sorting and grading process. This isn't a routine classification. It's a meticulous examination that defines the wool's value. Experts with a keen eye for detail assess fineness, length, strength, and color. The wool is carefully examined by hand, showcasing the significance of experience and skill in this crucial stage. Once the wool is sorted and graded, it is compressed into bales for transportation. Each bale, weighing 200 kilograms, promises quality Australian wool. These bales then embark on a journey to wool auctions or directly to processing facilities, marking the next phase in the wool's transformative journey. At the factory, compressed bales of wool are untied and the wool is fed into opening equipment that separates the fibers. In the blending room, air currents help create different grades of yarn to achieve the desired texture. If blending with other materials like polyester, it takes about an hour. As the wool travels through, impurities are washed away and a squeezing mechanism separates clean and dirty water. Next, the fibers are lubricated with a mineral oil mixture to ease processing. The carding machine further untangles the fibers, producing a smooth flat sheet called a web. The web is divided into flat strips, which go through rollers to form rounded strips called rovings. Rovings are then wound onto a spool, creating a yarn-like appearance. However, these rovings need more strength as they have yet to be spun. The spinning frame stretches and tightly spins the roving, turning it into wool yarn. The yarn is then woven into the fabric using automated looms, inserting strands in specific configurations based on the type of weave. After weaving, the fabric finishes, creating different appearances and feels. Spike rollers can create a plush finish. The fabric may be sheared or flat. The wool's journey progresses with dyeing and finishing, adding color to the fabric and enhancing its appearance and performance. Whether ironing, steaming, or applying coatings for durability or water resistance, this stage ensures the material meets the highest standards. Quality control measures are woven seamlessly into the process, ensuring that the final product is a testament to the excellence of Australian wool. Regular testing and monitoring occur throughout processing, with meticulous checks for defects and inconsistencies in the finished product. This entire journey, from the sheep's fleece to the final fabric, combines age-old techniques and modern technology, showcasing the versatility and usefulness of wool in various products. Once the wool has metamorphosed into finished products, it takes center stage in marketing and distribution. The Australian wool industry's strong reputation for quality makes it a sought-after choice for fashion designers and retailers globally. Wool, the versatile natural fiber, extends its utility far beyond clothing. It has woven itself into various facets of our lives, contributing to multiple products that stand testament to its enduring appeal. Around 80% of the world's wool finds its way into garments, leaving the remaining 20% for surprising and exciting applications. This versatile fiber, utilized for thousands of years, boasts durability, flexibility, and water resistance. From incredibly soft fibers against the skin to coarser ones suited for insulation, no bit of wool goes to waste. Wool can be woven, knitted, crocheted, and felted in garments. The possibilities are endless. Sweaters, hats, pants, coats, scarves. But wool goes beyond attire. It's used for embroidery, blankets, drapes, upholstery, and even equipment for working animals like horses and camels. Furniture stuffing, insulation, and soundproofing walls benefit from wool's unique properties. Its history in carpets attest to its durability and long-lasting colors. Felted wool, compacted and treated, serves diverse roles. From shoes and hats to waterproof outer garments and the distinctive sound in pianos. As we gaze into the future, the Australian wool industry stands at the cusp of continued success. The growing demand for sustainable and high-quality textiles worldwide propels ongoing investments in research and development. The industry not only aims to enhance the sustainability and performance of Australian wool, but also explores new markets and applications for this versatile natural fiber, ensuring that the wool story continues to captivate the world.
So, whether it's enhancing the comfort of your home or adding style to your wardrobe, wool is a fiber with a rich history and a promising future. If you found this journey through the world of wool fascinating, remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for more explorations into the diverse realms of textiles. Until next time, happy crafting. Happy crafting.